Have you ever thought that the world is going mad? That it's lurching from crisis to crisis? That common sense and rationality seem to have vanished? Is the world out of control? Or is it perhaps under the control of people we cannot control? What's really going on? For those who want to look behind the headlines and hear the questions asked which no one dares ask, this is the Lachlan Report. Hello everyone. In the Amsterdam studio today, I'm delighted to welcome Laszlo Torotskai, who is visiting uh, FED from Hungary. Laszlo Torotskai is the leader of the Mi Hazank, our fatherland, our country, uh, or our homeland rather, uh, political party uh, in Hungary. Uh, Laszlo, many of us, uh, many conservatives in uh, Western Europe, uh, look uh, to Hungary and admire uh, the policies of uh, Fidesz, of the Fidesz government and, uh, and Viktor Orban in particular. But you are a conservative opposition party uh, to Fidesz. You are, I suppose, to the right of Fidesz. Um, perhaps you could explain uh, to our viewers uh, what your differences are with Fidesz. Is it that they don't go far enough? Is it that they do things that you actually actively dislike? Uh, how would you explain to people who admire Viktor Orban and admire Hungary, how would you explain your political position with respect to the Hungarian government? You're right, uh, because uh, there are uh, two um, parties uh, on the right side um, in Hungary, but um, um, there are some differences between the Fidesz and, uh, and Mi Hazánk, uh, in English, our homeland movement. Um, First of all, uh, we are not corrupt. So uh, the corruption, this is a very, very, very important difference bef between the Fidesz and, uh, and the, our homeland. That's, um, of course, one of uh, the big accusations made against uh, Fidesz and against Viktor Orban by the European Union. So you're saying it's true? Um, it's true. Uh, the, Fidesz, um, the Fidesz has um, um, several uh, oligarchs. Yes. Um, there are um, finan financiers around the Fidesz. But, um, in fact, uh, Viktor, Orbán's, Viktor Orbán was a liberal uh, politician um, in the past, yes. um, during the, the 90s. Yes. Uh, but um, he was a very important uh, politician um, uh, in the 90s. He was the vice president of the international uh, liberal um, yes. organization. Yes. And um, um, I think that uh, Viktor Orbán, when he... He was uh, the prime minister at the first time yes. uh, between um, uh, 1998 yes. and uh, 2002. Mm -hmm. He realized that um, there, is a, there is an international net network, yes. international network uh, with their own uh, media, with their, with their uh, own uh, financiers, um, uh, bankers, um, uh, etc. And... Um, um, he was a little bit envy, and he wanted um, he wanted to create the same mm. network uh, around himself, around uh, the Fidesz. Yes. So, in fact, uh, when Brussels says that Viktor Orban and uh, and uh, his party, his government is a corrupt mm. government, is a corrupt uh, party, yeah. uh, that's true. Yeah. But Orban Viktor uh, is a small. Yeah. Uh, European Union, uh, a small, um, small uh, international network uh, around uh, the global corporation, around uh, the, the finan financiers. Um, um, so, in fact, uh, he just uh, created the same in Hungary. Uh, what this uh, global network created in Europe and all over the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is the first difference between Fidesz and, uh, okay. and uh, my party. Uh, we, have, we don't have um, any oligarch. Um, yes. we, we, uh, we are not uh, corrupt. Um, we are uh, close to the people. Mm. Uh, Orban Victor um, live in a, in a castle. Yeah. Um, uh, and um, he, he doesn't know what is the, the real situation in Hungary. I think he really believed that... Um, uh, the Hungarian uh, economic is fantastic, right. uh, dynamic, but it's not true. Right. Unfortunately, it's not true. The Hungarian uh, wages, uh, salaries, um, uh, one of the lowest yes, in, in Europe. This, saying, is a, yeah. this is a really very, very big uh, problem. Uh, but uh, of course, um, the Fidesz and, uh, and my party, 
uh, both parties are on the right side. So, um, for example, we are against the mass immigration. Yeah. Uh, we could uh, support uh, the Fidesz when uh, the Fidesz wanted to um, uh, build uh, the border fence on the yeah. Hungarian-Serbian uh, border, especially because that was my idea, yes, because yes. I was the, the, the mayor of uh, Ashotalom. Um, this is a small town on the Hungarian-Serbian uh, border. I have a farm there. Uh, I wanted... Um, uh, be a farmer, but um, but I became a mayor of yeah. uh, this small town uh, because of the, especially because of the the illegal uh, mass yes. immigration, yes. and uh, I was fighting against. Um, um, I was totally alone. I was the first uh, who started this uh, this fight yeah. against the mass immigration in Hungary, and um, uh, Orbán Viktor's government um, rejected my idea mm. um, in around uh, 2014. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but finally they and erected that stage this border. You were still fence. in the Jobbik uh, party yes, in 2014. Yes. Yeah. Later. Yeah. Later. Yeah. Yes. Because uh, um, I won the election in my small town as an independent oh, uh, candidate. Oh, okay. But uh, after um, uh, the president, the leader of uh, the Jobbik, the former leader of the Jobbik, uh, invited me to the to the yeah. Jobbik. And uh, I became the vice president of the of the Jobbik. Um, and then um, the Jobbik uh, was the other. A nationalist party in Hungary, mm. the Fidesz and the Jobbik, these two parties were on the on the right side. Uh, but um, but Orbán Viktor, um, Orbán Viktor is very strong in in Hungary. And um, when uh, Vonagábor, the former leader of uh, Jobbik, uh, wanted to uh, defeat mm. Orbán Viktor, so this is uh, this is why um, he he became a, a traitor because. Um, because uh, Vonagábor um, uh, went uh, to the liberal left. Yes. Uh, he started to cooperate with the globalists, yes. uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the leftists, with, uh, with the liberals. Um, um, and um, and uh, the Jobbik um, had also an uh, oligarch. Um, and, um, and this is why um, um, I, I was fighting against uh, Vonagábor. Um, so the Jobbik uh, split and uh, we yeah. had to set up yeah. a new party. Um, in my small town, yeah. uh, this is the, the our homeland movement, yes. and uh, and um, nobody believed that uh, we we will be able to go to the to the parliament um, because we we didn't have uh, any money, yeah. uh, we didn't have any media. Yeah. Just um, I have one uh, Facebook page, yeah. but um, um, I. Um, I could uh, uh, get um, really uh, fantastic uh, attention uh, from the Hungarian people. Um, um, I had um, um, hundred thousands of followers on on uh, Facebook. Um, so I said, uh, okay, we don't have any money. We we don't have uh, oligarch. We don't have media, but mm. uh, we have uh, our social network. Uh, yeah. Okay, just after I had to realize that uh, this international network is working. Yes. So uh, the Facebook. Um, Banned, uh, banned me. Uh, the Facebook deleted my page during the the, the Euro European uh, campaign before the European election in 2018, and uh, I sue uh, them. I sue um, Zuckerberg's uh, company because um, uh, I have um, uh, evidences about that. Um, uh, this was a political. Yes political uh, action. Uh, yes. It came from Hungary, from Hungarian parties, yes. uh, from the left liberal yes. side. Yes. And um, there is an invest investigation. The police, uh, the police yeah. started to investigate uh, against, uh, yeah. against this, uh, this um, 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 issue. And um, um, now, uh, because uh, I took the Facebook uh, to the court, to the Hungarian uh, uh, court, um, I could win. Uh, this is my first a small victory against the meta, against the, the global corporation sure. behind the Facebook and the, the Instagram, yeah. uh, because the Hungarian um, Supreme Court um, 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 said that uh, the, the Facebook, um, so the meta corporation, uh, must uh, re-establish uh, my uh, Instagram page. Mm. So this, this, is, um, this is the point of this story right when now. Did your, when did your party enter parliament? The last year. In the 2022? Year. Yes. With and the, how many with, uh, members of parliament six, do you six, have? Uh, six percent. Six, yeah, so very much like Yes, four, and we have democracy. a six seat. Yeah, yeah. We have six seats in like the Hungarian yeah. parliament. Yeah. But I am very proud of my uh, party because um, 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 we, are, um, we are growing, uh, increasing. Um, 
because um, now we have around ten um, percent, uh, but um, but my my party is the most popular among the the youngest yes. people yes. in my country. Well, and again, uh, that's a bit like uh, FVD, which also has a very strong youth movement. Yes, yeah, so so the future future yeah. is ours. Yeah, yeah. And um, what, is your, what, are, what are your impressions of life as a member of parliament? What is the Hungarian parliament like? Uh, is it like the British House of Commons? It's modelled architecturally on the, on the Palace of Westminster. But do you have uh, uh, strong, uh, of course not violent, but do you have strong uh, debates or is it uh, quieter like the Dutch parliament? Um, yes, um, there are very, very, very uh, strong uh, debates in the in the um, national assembly of um, of the Hungarian uh, parliament. Uh, but um, it's very strange because um, we have uh, uh, three independent um, uh, groups right. uh, in Rio. There are there are more political uh, uh, parliamentary group in the uh, Hungarian assembly, but in fact uh, there are only three. Uh, different really groups. Um, the Fidesz. Yes. Fidesz with his, with its uh, own uh, oligarch uh, system, yeah. um, 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 financiers and um, and the media, and um, there is an other um, big uh, group in the in the Hungarian Parliament. Uh, this is the globalist uh, left liberal sure. uh, group with a with a lot of different uh, but very small uh, parties. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they they couldn't exist uh, without their um, their background. You know, sure. uh, uh, there is a very big uh, scandal in Hungary now because um, the Hungarian authorities realized that uh, all these small uh, left uh, liberal uh, parties um, uh, uh, were financed uh, by um, um, American uh, yes. financiers. Yes. Uh, you know, um, so it's a big scandal. I think. Uh, um, well, Samantha Power, the head of USA, yeah. uh, visited yes. Budapest uh, yeah. a few months ago, yes. announcing, uh, I don't remember how many millions of dollars yes. for yes. democracy, in yes. other words, yes. to promote uh, left liberal uh, yes. it's, it's not, it's not a Yes, it's, it's not a secret I know. anymore. I know. I know. It's not a secret anymore. Mm. Mm. So they, they, um, uh, they finance them um, publicly. Yes. Well, of uh, course, Fidesz from, itself, from uh, Fidesz, USA. Uh, Fidesz itself exposed these... Uh, finances of, of yes. the of the previous election yes. campaign, the yes. 2022 election campaign. Yes, Th this is why this is why uh, Viktor Orbán and uh, Fidesz um, um, say that to their voters, uh, because uh, of course the the voters of the Fidesz um, uh, are not stupid. Yeah, uh, they can see that uh, uh, there are corruption around the Fidesz, but yeah. uh, uh, the Fidesz um, says them, uh, we need oligarch, we need uh, yeah. money, we need media against this yes, uh, global yes. Yes. Uh, system, you know. Yes. Yes. Um, but there is, a, there is an other group, this is our group, so we are alone. Mm. We are alone. Mm. Um, we, we, you know, uh, the Fidesz has, um, has a satellite party, a small party. This is the Christian Democrat yes. party in Hungary. It's a very small party. Uh, and um, we are the, the only one Party in the in the Hungarian Parliament, uh, in the um, in the Assembly, uh, which is alone. Yes, so I see. we are we are we are. So you're the third group. But but we are pure. Yeah, we are really yeah, pure, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. without oligarch, without yeah. corruption, uh, and um, and for example, I have started use uh, the YouTube after the Facebook. So yeah. we must be creative, you know. We sure. must uh, find always uh, other way. Um, uh, we we cannot give up this this fight because. Uh, because the people, people are behind us. And now we have around 10% um, um, in Hungary, but, um, but I hope um, we, can, uh, we can... And do go. you get invited? You mentioned uh, your uh, legal case against uh, Facebook. Do you get invited uh, onto the Hungarian media? Are you, do you have access to the Hungarian national media? Or are you excluded from it like uh, FVD is in the Netherlands? Um, Thanks to this Hungarian political system, uh, there are um, uh, media which belong to the Fidesz. There are media which belong to the to the global yeah. uh, system. Um, the global uh, the glo globalist uh, media um, uh, write about us uh, usually write about us, uh, but uh, there are a lot of um, 
uh, fake news yeah. about uh, me, especially about me. Right. Uh, they, you, you know this perfectly, like everyone in the world, they, they said uh, I am like, xenophobe, uh, yeah. I am uh, racist, uh, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, like you, everywhere in the world. Stuff, yeah. Everywhere in the world. Um, but um, they, they, they don't. They don't invite me to a live um, no. TV, you know, no. uh, to 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 make an interview. Um, the the media of the Fides um, sometimes uh, invite me, okay. but um, they always ask me about the the left liberal side, uh, about uh, um, the Jobbik, uh, you know, uh, yeah. our uh, former. <clears throat> A group, um, but uh, they don't want uh, that. Uh, they 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 don't want to uh, ask me about uh, the corruption of the Fidesz. Yeah, know? of so, course. Yeah. Well. Uh, the only opportunity uh, when um, when I can um, talk um, about every kind of uh, issues freely, mm -hmm. um, this is my YouTube yeah, uh, channel. Your own media. But yeah. But if uh, if uh, I am talking about uh, great reset uh, about uh, COVID, especially mm -hmm. COVID story, um, I could I could um, uh, meet with the with the censorship of um, of um, the YouTube as well. So yes. Uh, yes. So it's it's a very 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 difficult very difficult. Yes, situation. COVID was one of your big. Uh, yeah. Uh, differences, wasn't it, of course, from the Hungarian government? You yes. were very strong, your party yes. was very this, this, strong. This well, a, I remember during this. There's another issue um, which, um, which, can, um, which can make a difference between, between the Fidesz yeah. and, uh, and my party. And you were against uh, lockdowns and so on for, I assume, for the same reasons as FVD. You regarded it as an uh, attack on liberty. Yes, of and, course. Uh, yeah, exactly. Of course, yes. Yeah. The lockdown was, uh, yeah. was uh, totally uh, yeah. useless. Yeah. Um, just uh, they destroyed our economic, yeah. uh, and uh, now now everybody realized that uh, it was useless. Yes. But uh, but the government just um, just say that uh, it was nothing. Uh, yeah. We have uh, we have one of the highest inflation yeah, now I know. I know. in in Europe, uh, and uh, especially we, we don't understand because you know uh, I came from the countryside. Uh, we um, established uh, our party in my small town, yes. so we are we are really very close to to the to the countryside, and uh, of course we would support the Hungarian uh, agriculture, for example. So uh, why uh, Hungary has the highest uh, food inflation yes. in Europe? If we have a fantastic uh, lands, we we had fantastic agriculture yes. Yes. Uh, during. Um, the, the history. Yes. Well, you said, of course, uh, Bra Brussels, you've, you've said that the European want. Union uh, has destroyed yeah. it. Yes. How, how would yes. you explain, how would you describe um, me, Hazank, sociologically? Uh, who are your supporters? Are they people in the cities? Are they people in, you say it's for you from a, you're a mayor of a small town, you have a farm. Are they, are they farmers? Are they people in villages? Can you, is it possible to to describe uh, the electorate sociologically, or uh, or do you have support from all all uh, p parts of the population? It's an interesting question because um, normally uh, we are stronger um, in the, the countryside um, outside of Budapest, the capital. Yes, you know um, Hungary. The Hungarian uh, population is um, very interesting uh, because uh, we we lost. Um, a lot of territories after the Trianon uh, Treaty. This is a very, very, very important uh, and um, uh, big uh, tragedy for the Hungarians. Uh, but this is why we have a we have a huge capital uh, in a, in a yeah. in a smaller country yeah. now. Yeah. So uh, twenty percent of uh, of the population uh, live in in the capital. Yes. Um, so. Without Budapest, um, you cannot go to the parliament. You cannot yes. go to the parliament. Uh, but uh, thanks to the to the the COVID um, uh, issue, uh, we have um, we have uh, supporters in the capital in mm. Budapest because mm. a lot of um, people in Budapest uh, um, were against this uh, this lockdown and uh, and, uh, and are they the COVID. Uh, what, what, where where do we put them economically? Your supporters, but, are but, they? but of course, but of course, we are we are stronger in the countryside, yes. uh, in the smaller town, yes, and, yes. and especially in the villages, yes. uh, because we, we we are the only one uh, part in Hungary which um, which usually talk about the agriculture yes. in a, in a typically. Um, uh, 
country like like Hungary, which is of course, uh, um, which has a lot of uh, lands and opportunities to make mm. a fantastic um, uh, agriculture, um, and uh, of course, not the, the richest people yeah. uh, are our yeah. supporters yeah. Uh, because, yeah. of course, we defend uh, the workers, uh, we, we defend uh, the worker class, we, we defend uh, the Hungarian uh, smaller yeah. companies. Uh, we are against the global corporations, yeah. the big corporations. Yeah, yeah. So how would you, to, to summarize uh, and conclude, how would you uh, explain in a few sentences, you're obviously anti-globalist, you're a, a nationalist party, you're a patriotic party. Yes. Um, you are uh, very obviously against left liberalism. Uh, uh, what, what, what other labels would you uh, give to describe uh, Mi Hazak? Yes, uh, we are an anti-globalist party. Yeah. I think um, uh, this is the most important because yeah. um, there are um, there are nationalists in my mind. There are mm. nationalist parties and globalist parties. Yes. You know, um, after the, the French Revolution in the history, yes. um, we, we could say that um, there are uh, um, traditional leftist parties or traditional uh, uh, right-wing parties, but now... Um, you know, the time is changing. Yes. Now there are nationalist parties yes. and globalist parties. Agree, yes. And um, uh, because we are anti-globalist party, I, I um, think that um, because we are fighting um, the globalism, uh, we must cooperate with, uh, with other anti-globalist party, especially in Europe, yes. but all over the world, yes. but especially in Europe, especially... Um, uh, in the Nordic civilization, yes. uh, because when I am talking about Europe, I am talking about um, the, the the Nordic civilization. Uh, I uh, I'm talking about that civilization, um, uh, which um, um, which is um, stretching uh, from uh, Ireland to Kamchatka. Yes, and uh, I don't want to accept uh, this artificial line. Uh, which um, which uh, separate um, Western Europe and yes. Eastern Europe yes, uh, because uh, um, we are very very similar. Yes, uh, we have uh, we have very similar or same culture culture religion uh, mm. uh, heritage yes. uh, and uh, we must cooperate together uh, all the nations of this Nordic civilization. Mm against the globalism yeah. because uh, of course for example um, uh, United States of America um, of course uh, doesn't want um, um, for example the, the German technology um, could um, uh, unite with um, with um, uh, Russian um, exactly. lands very huge lands exactly. um, um, and uh, resources um, um, and the power uh, so this is their interest. This is not European interest. Uh, just Indeed. we kill each other, Indeed. we destroy uh, uh, European economy. Indeed. So if we want, we want uh, um, win against this uh, this uh, globalism. We should cooperate yes. um, um, together with other uh, anti-globalist parties. This is why I am yeah. here yeah. In, in the Netherlands, and this is why we are organizing a meeting for all all uh, anti-globalist uh, European parties in Budapest. Very good. As soon as possible, Very uh, good. Um, we, we must meet again in Budapest. Well, that would be uh, a great pleasure. And uh, what you've said uh, chimes perfectly with the, uh, the slogan of FVD International and, in, if you like, of FVD generally, which is fighting globalism worldwide. Yeah. So thank you so much for agreeing to speak to us and uh, we wish you all thank the best. You Thank you very much, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.